What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to highlight and color text in an email sent through Excel VBA. So let's get right into it. Um, I've got some code written up for sending an email and um, what it does is it references this data over here and just pulls um, from cell A2 and says that hello China has the largest population in the world and then it's sending it to ABC at 123.com the subjects country population um, so let's look at that really quick so I run that here we go to ABC at 123.com subjects country population says hello China has the largest population in the world best regards Greg so let's go ahead and highlight um, and color the word the world the word largest let's do that okay so what we have to do in order to color the text and let me go ahead and in this line right here and take it to the next one so we'll have to say font color equals uh, we can do something simple like red and then what will happen is everything after this point will be in red so let's run it so you see starting at largest everything after that's in red now in order to stop it so we'll stop it after largest well, all we have to do is a slash and then font so we'll run it again so now we're good on that so as far as highlighting you know what let's go ahead and highlight world so I will actually break this one up too and take it to the next line and all you need to do is use an ampersand and an underscore to continue with one line of code into the next line and what I'm gonna do is after the the I'm gonna use span style equals background and let's go with yellow MSO dash highlight and then we'll go ahead and go with yellow spelled yellow wrong twice sorry about that it's a W on the end so now what's going to happen is everything at this point is going to be highlighted yellow let's run it and there we have it so now we're going to stop the highlighting at the D and all you have to do for that is find that point and then you're going to do a slash span I believe yep oh no one second okay the slash is going the wrong way there we go there it is so if we wanted to get more colors to choose from um, I found this free site called htmlcolorcodes.com and what you can do here is you just find any color that you like so let's say I, I see this color I like it a lot all you can all you have to do is just copy and paste the hex code and say I want to highlight my word with this color I would just go here and paste it here and paste it and if I run that you'll see now it's highlighted that color so it's pretty cool it also works for the letters too for the font color so if I go to where did I change that color right here okay paste it there 
run it again and you see the text is also changed to that color and it just gives you a larger range of colors and actually let me show you one thing really quickly so you see here for span style you've got this long line with two different points in it so if I were to take out this MSO highlight sorry let me run it back alright so if I run this now and I wanted to get rid of this highlight here I can do that I just do go to no color right however if I take this portion out and run it and I try to do the same thing what happens is it doesn't recognize it, it recognizes it as a background not a highlight and an outlook so you won't even be able to get rid of the color the only way to replace it would be to I guess change the color altogether right so that's why this line here is so long let's see what happens if we get rid of background if that actually affects it in a negative way so if I take this part out and run it looks like we're good yep so it looks like you only need this portion to actually highlight what you want um, I have to look more into that but uh, that's all I have um, the link in there will be a link in the description for this website with all the colors thanks a lot for watching hope you have a good one uh, make sure to like comment subscribe bye